daily baby garter snake check. Prius, how are you? Do you have babies? No, it doesn't look like it. You're still pretty chunky. I do not see babies in here. Red-sided, how are you? You don't look as ch- Oh, no. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, baby red-sided's are here. I was thinking that this day might be coming soon. No way, there's one in the track. There was seriously one just in that track there. I stuffed a napkin in here because I thought, oh, well, if she happens to give birth, they could probably sneak through there. So I'm so glad I did that now. Oh my gosh, there's one over there. <gasps> They're everywhere. There's two right there. There's another red-sided and oh my gosh, there's another one. He's out basking already. Oh, he's next to his dad too. Hi, dad. You're a father again. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. And there's a baby back there and one climbing up the ledge. They're everywhere. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you squiggle away. Oh, and there's one up here. Oh, there he goes. Never mind. Okay, well, Mama, are you done? Did you get them all out? It looks like she looks pretty flat, so I think she's done giving birth. Hi. I'm so proud of you. Oh, wow. It looks like she gave birth in this cork hammock, actually. Interesting. So all the babies had to fall down. That's an interesting spot to choose, Mama. Looks like there are a couple of stillborns. There's what we call a jelly bean in the middle there, that yellow thing, which is just an infertile slug. And there were a couple of stillborns there, too. One, two, three stillborns. Okay, well... Hopefully, I mean, that does happen. It's sad, but it's nature. It happens in the wild, too. How are we doing? Hi, you are so pretty, Mama. Look at your colors. You are gorgeous. Well, it looks like Mama's doing well, so I guess we are going to take down the tank, clear it out, and see how many babies she had. Now they're all hiding. I don't see them anymore. Oh my gosh, there's one outside. Hey, hey, oh my gosh, you're so tiny, you just snuck through. Get over here, or fall back in. Okay, well, there he goes. Are there any more? I guess I'm gonna tear this out right now. All right, let's start with the bad news. We have one, two, that was one, and that was definitely one, and that obviously was, what? Oh, were you two? Oh my gosh, that was a double-headed baby. It didn't make it, it's definitely deformed. It's probably for the better, honestly, but that is actually a split head baby. Had that made it, that actually could have had a chance compared to the kind of fused two-headed one we had last year. Weird. That might have to get preserved. That is so strange. Okay. Well, that I wasn't expecting. I kind of took a peek at those earlier, but that is a surprise. Okay. I'm gonna clean those out in a second. Do we have any other surprises in here, guys? Could you, like, warn me about something like that? I didn't know how to react. Yeah, that was crazy. Come here, Big Blue. Let's put you in your bin. Now is a great excuse to clean out the whole cage. It's not, I mean, there's some poops there. It's not too bad because it's a bioactive and we have a bunch of isopods in here. That's why we leave the sheds and don't get away. No, no, no. Okay, fine. You're going to get demoted to the bin. But yeah, we keep it bioactive. So there are some poops in here, but the springtails and isopods take care of those for us. But you know what? I'm still going to clean it out because I tend to do that when they have babies because, you know, it doesn't hurt. Oh, there's Dad. Come here, proud Dad. Oh, come here. You get to go in here with Blue. All right, there you go. Have fun. And then we have two really pretty girls in here, an unnamed female and Kylie. Figure I'll get all the adults out first and then find the babies. Come here. Are you Mama? I want to figure out which one of you two gave birth. Oh, you're definitely Mama. Yep, you look sunken in. Good job. You are so pretty. Your babies look amazing too. Please don't musk on me. Oh, you must everywhere and it smells in here now. Oh well. That means there's one more female in here. Are you gravid? You don't look gravid. Maybe you're not gravid this year. Okay, we officially have an empty tank of parents and now it's like an Easter egg hunt to find all the babies. Oh, there's, there's one. Oh, there's two. Come here, babies. Oh my goodness. I want to see one of you up close. Oh, you're so squiggly. Ah, no, come back. Come back. I know, I don't want to break you. You're so tiny. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that! Focus camera. First baby red side. Actually, first baby garter at all this year. Look at you! You're so tiny, don't escape. We're gonna put you in here. How many of you are there? Where'd that other one go? Let the search begin! There's a bunch! 
sponge. Oh my gosh, come here, come here. Oh, they're so tiny. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's a really pretty one. Look at you. Uh -huh. You've got a lot of reds already. Okay, into the bucket. It's an isopod. Yeah, you eat that poop, isopod. Good job. Why is there an acorn in here? I don't know. Ed, we're not filming the isopods. We're filming the snakes. Yeah, but the isopods are more interesting right now. But baby garters. Yeah, but there's no more baby garters. There's one. Oh, there's two. Never mind. There's oh two my gosh. more baby garters. There's one. Ah! Alright, I think that might be it. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, there's there's one. one. I just finished going through. A lot of squirmy babies. Yeah, it is. I think that is all of them. So I just finished sweeping through a second time. I didn't see any there. And we are going to set up this habitat, put the parents back in, and then count the babies. Check this out, Ed. That is a double-headed baby. Except this head didn't develop, like, at all. Oh, yeah, you're right. Or is that two different snakes? I see two tails. I see them combined into... Wait. Oh, there were a lot of issues with this baby, so no wonder yeah. it didn't make it. It looks like they're, the heads are joined, but you're right, there are two tails. Huh, so what I the if heck? supposed to be a twin. Like, Siamese twin kind of thing. Well, now I kind of want to unravel it and see if it's two babies joined or if it's double head and double tail. Okay. Here, I'll take the phone. You unravel. Okay. For science. Yeah, that's what this is for. I'm really curious about this, actually. Oh, yeah, this one didn't develop the, the face. Yeah. Right there. That's so bizarre. I can feel kinks everywhere, too. Oh, so, yeah, I believe it. This baby just wasn't meant to, to make so, it. So, two heads that formed into one body. Yep, two heads there. With a huge kink. Yep, definitely joined though. And then the tail splits after. Oh the my vent. gosh! Yeah, the tail joins too. That's so weird. Huh. Interesting. It has two dorsal stripes. Oh yeah, they're like Siamese twins. Yeah, they're this like... is like a twin that didn't fully separate. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. There we go. I'm gonna clean this off and uh, maybe freeze that baby in case someone wants to preserve it in a yeah. jar or something. That'd be kind of interesting. Mm hmm. And uh, I'll finish setting up the cage and putting the parents back in. And then we'll look at the good, healthy babies. Yeah. All right. Well, Big Blue, you get to go back first. Look at how well you're doing with handling. Yeah. She doesn't musk anymore. She's super chill. She's a big, beefy girl. You never have babies for us, but you're still a joy to have around. Here is the non-breeding girl this year. That's all right. Took a year off. Here is... Primrose begging for food. I think huh. she's gravid. She's probably due next, honestly. Or Prius, who's also begging for food. Here's Dad. Proud Dad. And finally, Kylie, the mother from today. You are so pretty. Like, her babies should be this pretty, too. Yeah. They are. Especially with Dad. Yeah, yeah. Dad's great. It's too bad Dad's in shed right now. He's really yeah. dull for this video. But he is just as pretty as she is. Here, do you want to go up on this ledge? Let's look at babies. Here are the babies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, look at the reds. Yeah, some are like redder than or brighter than others already. I, I noticed that last year too, but these babies are so pretty. Yeah, and I'm then if they're going through shed right now, because I know garters go through shed pretty quick. Oh, do you think so? Maybe. Maybe, maybe that's why some are duller. That one looks like he's going through shed. Oh, yeah, he might be. How many are there? We should count. Um, Let's uh, freeze frame. 16! 16, 16 healthy baby red-sided garter snakes. And they're scared out of their minds right now because they don't know what people are. Hi! Oh, you're so cute! Oh, you're adorable and scared. I'm sorry. Okay, here. You can go back in there. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see their colors. You Look. know some of them have a red dot on their head? Do they? Oh, he does have a little red He's dot. A little red dot on his head. That's adorable. Hi, One guys. Has a little red dot. Aww. Okay, see, now you're figuring it out. Yeah, we're not bad people. A handful of baby red-sided garters. Hee <laughs> look at him scatter. <laughs> what in the world? Hey, hey, come here. Hey, 
Well, hello! You're a red-sided baby, and you're shedding, or you're covered in dust or something. Uh, Ed, we have 17. Oh, nice. Yeah. Aww. We had an escapee. We wanted to explore the world first. Did you have fun exploring your house? I'm sorry, I'm gonna... Like, I was having fun, and then you ruined it. I was taking my ring back to Mordor. Into the Crater Keeper with your siblings. Well, we've been too busy to run to the shop to set these babies up, so we just kind of have them set up in a temporary Critter Keeper. They've got water and a bunch of leaves to play on, and there's a tray full of fish over there which you can't really see but they are so active already they're like all over these leaves they're basking they're under them they're in between them just having a blast in here oh and there's one that's eating right now can you see them good job i'm so proud of you they have flounder and alaskan cod in there which you can kind of see i don't really want to spook them though and yes i know there is an opening on this critter keeper but there's no way that they could climb up and then upside down and backwards so i'm not worried at all but hi little guys you're gonna get some more no way you're like two days old yep you're eating that right now that is awesome they don't usually eat this early for me, but I figured, oh, what the heck, I'll give it a try. And he's just going at it! That's amazing! Uh, sir, I think your eyes might be too big for your stomach. Yeah, I should have chopped that piece up more. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't, so, um, good luck! You know, the babies are like five days old now, and I think I'm just gonna leave them here for the time being. This is kind of our area of where we put animals when they need a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention, like Quasi, the snapping turtle from last year that has deformities. He's still hanging in there. And uh, I think this way I'll be able to keep a closer eye on them. I can give them food as often as needed. Are you gonna come eat an earthworm? I, I'm trying earthworms, or actually night crawlers, chopped up for the first time today, and I'm, I saw one eating a piece. Oh, we have a couple of interested noses. Yeah. Yeah, go check out the worms. They're tasty, I promise. I didn't dust them this time because I want them to like really be enticed by the smell and I don't want the dust to like cover up that smell. So once they eat the worms for the first time, the next time I offer them, I'll dust them. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he's taking his to go. Sweet. So that's cod, flounder, and worms now that they are eating. You want a piece too? You are adorable just resting your head on the leaf. Go on! All right! Oh, this is awesome that they're already eating so many things! Oh my gosh, this is blurry because it's through the plastic of the Critter Keeper, but adorable! Oh, oh that's a big piece. Oh, this mine. No, you can't have it. What do you got there, Bob? Not yours. Of course. Since the babies have been eating so well lately, I'm actually giving them something new today. They are getting some of Allie's food, our tegu, and in today's case, it's a base of chicken and turkey. So I took a bunch of pieces and tried to like roll them up into bite-sized chunks so that they can't fight over the same piece. So we're gonna take this, and then I covered them in like, or dusted them in some calcium. And then, oh hi, oh, I don't mean to scare you. I'm sorry, here, there's today's food. I know your light isn't on yet because it's not 10 o'clock, but do you want some? Oh my gosh, are you all ready? <gasps> do it, do it, do it, try something new. There you go. Oh my gosh, a whole mouthful. Good job. Here, I'll turn your light on a little early for you. There we go. <gasps> Check it out. Doesn't that look good? Try a bite. I know you can do it. They're such good eaters. They're about two weeks old now, and they are just clearing their plate at every meal. We decided to leave all 17 in this large critter keeper because they are eating so well and they're getting along so well and they're behaving really well that, you know, I think this is just a good baby setup for them. Go on. I want to see someone else take one big bite. I need another brave one. Will it be one of you two? Oh, not you. Somebody try the scary new food. Well, they don't seem to like the chicken slash turkey as much as the fish and the worms. But, you know, I think I'm just going to leave that in there all day and that's all they're going to get. They're going to have to learn to try something new. You guys are like children. Yeah, try it. I promise it's tasty. Well, the babies are now two and a half weeks old or so, and they're doing really, really well still. So we're actually going to just leave them in here this year until they get shipped out to their new homes, which will be in a few more weeks. It also works out well doing this because they're in our kitchen area, so that food is right over in the freezer. I can take it out and thaw it and feed them. I'm feeding them every two days or so here. But these little chunky babies are doing so well. Look at this guy. He's actually grown quite a bit already. There's, I think, a couple 
couple babies that haven't really eaten much yet, but there is going to be some, you know, natural selection taking place where I don't expect all of them to make it because there's so many. Sometimes there are one or two that just never thrive, but for the most part, these babies are like chunky and noticeably growing already. So yeah, we'll hang on to them for a few more weeks and then start going through our waiting list to find them new homes. This one isn't very skittish at all. No, There's other been... than when I come close to them from above like a yeah. bird. I think it's also helping that we're interacting with them a lot more this way since we're so close to them. Yeah, they're so... not upstairs in the baby bin, but we they always see us walking around and doing things down here. Yeah, so I think they're more socialized as a result too. The leaves here are acting as wonderful little hides for them because they hide inside all of the layers. There's a couple right there. They hide underneath. See if we can find some. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, they're loving it. But thank you everyone for watching today's red-sided garter snake baby video. We have some adorable little pasta noodles with us today. Look at you. Are you just going to sit like that in my hand? You are so stinking cute. Thank you as always to our Patreon backers for your very generous support. I hope you all enjoyed today's baby video and let baby season begin. It's like she's trying to speak to you. Yeah, what could you want? I don't understand. Up, oh, bud. Yeah, I think she might be begging a little bit. A little bit. What would you do if I went like that? Hi. Yeah, now what? <laughs> don't look at my fingers. Can you eat the phone? You're a little too close. Yeah, she's not scared of anything. No, she's not. She's just sitting right in front of the camera like, love me. She's licking or flicking at the camera too. You'll have your own video here next. Yeah, you're next up. Don't eat me. <laughs> she definitely <laughs> wants to eat you. All right, goodbye. Poke. <laughs> she's like, wait. Did you get food? <laughs> Try something new. I'm not gonna cave and get you earthworms just because you're super cute. Oh my gosh, you are adorable. Maybe I could get you an earth. No, no, can't cave. Try your new food.